So they don't care if you speak Indian. They don't care if you speak Swahili. Uh, or Swahili. <laughs> they don't care if you speak Spanish. They don't care if you speak Mandarin Chinese. They don't care if you speak Japanese. They don't care if you speak Deutsch. All they care about is you have standardized zoning rules, standardized police rules, standardized money and taxation rules. That's how they control things. And all I ask your listeners to do is when this show is over, go to Infowars.com and PrisonPlanet.com. Google the Obama deception. Uh, there's two horrible uh, Google versions of it that, that, that don't look very good, but you want to watch the YouTube version. It says, it says Obama deception, high quality. Okay. And, and it's the third or fourth link. That, that one's got a million, 300,000 views. Total, the film has been out for three weeks. 15 million views on the web that we can count up. It is the most viral video out there right now, and it details with all their own documents, all their own quotes, uh, chapter and verse, that Obama is their Trojan horse to sell the people. Well, on, that, on that point, Alex, let's bring in Keith in Berkshire. Keith, 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 Keith. Hello, Keith. Yeah. Are you there? Yeah, I'm here. Yeah, what do you want to say? All right. Um, basically. Yeah. Uh, let's go to Mark, who's in Lancashire. Mark, hello. Hi, Ian. Uh, Hi. Yeah, I'd just like... Hang on a sec. Where's he gone? There he is, Mark, far away. Ah, uh, yeah, I'd just like to ask Alex, has he heard of a company called Kodak Alimentarius, what comes into fruition on the 31st of December 2009? Okay, okay, stay, okay. Stay, hang on, before, before we answer that, let's just take a couple of questions here, then we can get through as many as possible. Stay there, Mark, don't go away. Uh, here's one from Fred the Cabby as well. Fred. Hello, Ian. Hi, um, Fred. Two questions. Uh, one, if Hitler was part of this conspiracy, why did the Soviet Union and America, uh, two opposite dogmas, get together to destroy him? Yeah. And secondly, if he thinks that 9-11 was a conspiracy, uh, we were taken to war uh, in Iraq with uh, against weapons of mass destruction, which didn't exist. How easy would it have been to plant those weapons of mass destruction and conveniently find them? Okay, that's a good point, Fred. Thank you for that. Let's just get Kevin in witness. Kevin, hello. Yeah, I'd just like to ask, how does he protect himself against these people? And how, as a general public person, how can we protect ourselves against this new order? Okay, all right, Kev, thank you for that. Uh, so, first of all, Alex, the Codex, what was it called? The Codex? Codex Alimentarius. Right, is this, is this the food um, issue? Yeah, we have the bills introduced on the verge of passing, uh, and they're already doing it by fiat through the executive and through the FDA. That They're banning over-the-counter vitamin B. They're banning over-the-counter vitamin C. This is the big drug companies. Uh, that have gotten together to basically ban over-the-counter vitamins all over the world. It's official UN law. So, was, so we see simultaneously Europe, the UK, Canada, the United States introducing it. Also, states and cities. This is actually a take one: Tucson, uh, 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 Arizona, uh, another one out of Tulsa, Oklahoma announcing, oh, you're not allowed to have a garden now in your backyard. We must inspect all gardens to make sure you're not growing marijuana. So we're all criminals uh, until proven innocent. Uh, so uh, it's, it's going after the food. It shuts down all organic farmers. Uh, they're now arresting people for selling organic eggs at little roadside stops, watermelons, squashes. They're SWAT-teaming Amish that sell other Amish milk uh, in these big Amish communities. Uh, their SWAT is just all over the news. What they're, is it? They're, they're, what do they, do they not like about this? They don't want people. Well, I mean, I mean, why goodness? did the BBC? Yeah, well, why did the BBC report what I already knew six months after that the British government released the foot and mouth eight nine years ago in England? But they said it was an accident. It magically was released from the Porton Down Bioweapons Lab and showed up in dozens of locations all over England in one day. No, it was spread deliberately. They don't want you being self-sufficient. They want you domesticated, institutionalized, 1984, where I live in Austin. They're putting microphones and cameras up everywhere listening to us. They, they got cameras in the school bathrooms in the U.K. and the U.S. This isn't freedom. Now, that's Codex Alimentarius. He was asking about Iraq and WMDs, mm. and and, uh, and uh, he was asking uh, was so that many was, questions. That was the other call, yeah. Let's, uh, well, what about the, Fred the Cabby asked about the WMDs. Why could they not have just hidden them there. Well, but he also said something else. He, he also about, said something. He talked about Hitler. Okay, yeah, yeah, let's take that first. Okay, pal, that's exactly what I just covered. Lord Milner, who set up the Royal Institute for International Affairs, the British model of the Council on Foreign Relations, these shadow parallel governments, 
which they now admit you have in England, where MI5 is spying on the parliament, the real government spied on by the jackboot fake government, the one that does whatever it wants no matter what happens. You know, they promise you can vote on the EU and they don't let you vote on it. They say no to the Lisbon Treaty in Ireland. They say we don't care, we're doing it again. See, this is tyranny. The people of Europe don't want to be in the EU, but they're under it. So, so expanding on that, Lord Milner, 